Newton's third law. What is this? Player is pushing the ball down. Why it is going up again and again? Well, that is Newton's third law. Newton's third law of motion states that whenever one body exerts a force on another body, the second body exerts an equal and opposite force on first body. In this case, basketball is exerting force on ground and ground is exerting an equal and opposite force on basketball. The force exerted by the first body on the second body is called as action and the force exerted by the second body on the first body is called as reaction. Both the forces are equal and opposite in direction. It also means Newton's third law of motion can be stated as for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Experiment to prove Newton's third law of motion. Here is an experiment to prove that Newton's third law of motion is true in many circumstances. Take two similar spring balances A and B. The free end of the spring balance A is attached to the hook which is fixed in a wall. Now pull the free end of the spring balance B towards right side by hand. We see that both the spring balance show the same reading which is 2 Newton. This is because when we pull the balance B it exerts the force of 2 Newton on the balance A. The balance A pulls the balance B with the equal force of 2 Newton but in opposite direction. It means balance B exerts a force of action on the balance A and then the balance A exerts equal force of reaction on the balance B. Examples of Newton's third law of motion. How will we prove that Newton's third law of motion is applicable to objects around us in everyday life? There are many examples from our day-to-day -day life which explain Newton's third law of motion. A rocket flies upwards towards space. This is a very good application of Newton's third law showing the action and reaction effects. In the rocket, when fuel is combusted, the rocket pushes down gas with the force of its powerful engines. This is the action. The reaction is that the gas pushes the rocket equally upwards with an equal force. that whenever a gunman fires a gun, it is observed that the gun moves back as bullet moves forward. Can you give the reason for backward movement of gun? When a bullet is fired from a gun, the force sending the bullet forward is equal to the force sending the gun backward. Due to high mass of the gun, it moves backwards and it gives backward jerk to the shoulder of the gunman. This backward motion of the gun is called the recoil of the gun. The velocity with which the gun moves backwards is called the recoil velocity. Why does an inflated balloon move upwards as air rushes out of it? When the inflated balloon is released with the open end in the downward direction, it will move upwards like a rocket. 
the air rushes out of the balloon in the downward direction. This air pushes the balloon upwards in opposite direction to its movement. Do you know how a person rows the boat? While rowing a boat, the boatman pushes the water backwards with the oars. The water exerts an equal and opposite push on the boat, which makes the boat move forward. Why doesn't a person fall out while stepping from the boat? The boat moves backwards when a man jumps out of the boat on the bank of the river. To step out of a boat, the man presses the boat with his foot in the backward direction, which is action. The boat exerts an equal force on the man in the forward direction, which is reaction. and it helps the man to move forward. Now you must be thinking if birds fly by action and reaction then how do we all animals walk on this planet earth? When we walk on the ground our foot pushes the ground backward and the ground pushes the foot forward. The forward reaction exerted by the ground on our foot helps us to walk. Have you ever wondered how are we able to swim in water? During swimming, the swimmer pushes the water backwards with his hands and the feet. This helps him to move in the forward direction in water. So it is the equal and opposite reaction of the force which pushes the swimmer forward.